Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Do you like the way this font turned out? Let me show you how to do it. The first thing we're going to need to do is get our text and the font we want, and then we're going to have to remove the background. I already have one done, so I am going to go over here and do it. The reason you want to do that is because you're going to need to go over here to edit image. One, if you want to change the color, Two, the other thing is I want to use the blur. If I use just regular text without removing the background to make it a PNG, then I'm not going to be able to do that blur effect. So it's you need to download it, remove the background. I don't know if Canva's background remover will change it into a PNG for you. I, I, I have the free version, so I don't know. So with that, what you want to do then is you got that, let's see, I want to change this color first. Um, let's go in the color mix, uh, not there. Let's do duo tone here and pick out a color. Um, I went with this hot pink last time. Let's do, uh, maybe this blue, let's try blue and see what that turns out looking like. So let me turn the background on this to black. All right, and then let's, let's center this up in this thing right here and I'm gonna bring this down a little bit here. So the easiest way for me to tell you to do this is once you get this, you wanna duplicate this. And I usually do it twice. So I'm gonna do upper half to where I want it to be. And then I'm gonna do one, that's the bottom half. And try to get it kind of like where it looks like even. And then I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to bring that down. So I want to go in. So I want to find my points where I want them to kind of line up. So I'm going to go over here. And I want those the lines right here on that A to line up to go there. Um, whatever way you want to do it to do it. And if I have to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to get some precision going. And then I want my part of the end over here to kind of go with this part of the end here. So once I do that, I want to work on my bottom where I want that to go into. I want to go into like that. I want that little corner to match right there. And I want my A kind of to match up here. So I want to line that up here. And then I want to center that. And that is my first. And what you're going to do is you're going to just take those, duplicate them up, and shorting them, shorten them. So here, all I'm doing is getting the how many lines that I want done. You can make as many or as little as you want. So I'm just doing that really quick like and showing you what I'm doing. Lining it up, you can space them close, far apart. However you want to set the letters, it's all up to you. So now that we got everything lined up, what I need to do is adjust the color. So I'm going to go here, edit image. I'm going to, we can do it right here. So you want to take your brightness and we want to go up 10 and click on that. And then we're going to go down to the one that matches it underneath, edit image and do the same thing. We want to do 10. If you want it harsher, you can do 20 to start off and do 20, 40, 60. Uh, that's up to you. Um, let's, um, so let's keep going this way. Um, we're going to do 20 for the next pair. And we're going to go over here and do 20 for the next pair. And then we're going to go up to the next one, edit. We're going to do 30. thirty. Forty and 
40. And you can keep going if you want a more harsher tone. Like I said, you can go uh, 20, 40, 60. You can do 15, 30, 45, making me do math. Um, whatever way that's good for you. Whatever, how strong you want the, the separation in them. So once you have that done, now we're going to do the blur part. So what you want to do is you want to go up here. You want to go to edit image and you want to do, you can do it at the same thing, eight increments of 10, 20, whatever. So here we're going to do 10 on that one. And we're going to go to the next one. We're going to go to uh, in here, go to blur. We're going to go to 20. We're going to go here to the next one. And we're going to do 30 on the blur. And here we're going to do an image, go here, and we're going to do 40 on the blur. So just for comparison, we'll go down here. We'll do 20s. So we want to go here. I'm going to adjust. I'm going to go 20, just so you can see the difference. Edit image. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go into adjust 40. Here, edit image, adjust 60. And this one right here, edit image, go here, 80. So what I did too, another thing you can do if you want to get more lines and go deeper. So let's say we're going to go here and we have this other line here and we get next one. This one's already on 80. Because we duplicated it, we go to 100. All right, now I'm out of blur, but I want another line. So when I went out of blur, I went up to transparency. So you go up to here and you start taking your transparency down. You can take it down 10. Oh, I didn't mean to take it down to 10. Uh, take it down to 80. Why is this doing not take up oh, 80 enter so that's a way you can do that too you can start using your transparency and just keep taking your transparency down to fade it all the way out especially if you're going to go all the way to the bottom so i also did this picture which is in the front to do that these were at 20 each so to do it this way all you're going to do with your split word is just go the opposite way. You're just going to make it bigger and go out versus going in. So that'll make it a hourglass to create this one. Then more like a like the Wheel of Fortune. Not Wheel of Fortune. The Price is Right wheel. There you go. And the only thing that I did with this afterwards is I went up to Elements and I got a line and I thickened it up a little bit. And I changed the color to match the colors of my action. And I put that up across the top. Let me use my arrow keys to kind of bring it down. Sometimes my arrow keys work well, sometimes they do not. Kind of line it up and bring it across, and then I put some like background splashes in it just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. But that's up to you. You got the base now, you make the beauty. So, I want to thank, thank y'all for coming out, and hopefully, this tutorial helped you out some. I'm not a very good YouTube girl, sorry for that, but I love you anyway, and I hope I helped you. Much love, peace and have a great time designing. Subscribe if you like. Much love. Peace.